Understanding the power used in Wi-Fi ensures that you will be able to meet coverage requirements and stay within the laws that are in place within the regulatory domain in which you are deploying Wi-Fi. Units of power measurement are absolute power measurements. The watt, being the first we'll discuss, is a method of measuring the rate of energy transfer of a device. One watt is defined as the energy consumption rate of one joule per second. However, it's very rarely that you will be dealing with a watt in Wi-Fi. That much power is usually reserved for outdoor use and only in regulatory domains where the use of such amplitude is legal. Most of the power levels required for Wi-Fi are much lower, since Wi-Fi networks do not need a tremendous amount of power to transmit a signal over an acceptable distance indoors or outdoors. Therefore, we will use milliwatts instead. Milliwatts are one one thousandth of a watt. Consumer grade and even most small office, home office wireless devices may only offer between 30 milliwatts of output power up to 100 milliwatts of output power. This 100 milliwatts transmit power is before the antenna. So you must take care not to exceed the legal power output restrictions of the region within which you are deploying, since antenna are bi-directional passive amplifiers. In high density deployments, you will find most APs are set to a much lower power level to reduce cell overlaps and co-channel interference. Decibels. Decibels are used to measure change. However, when using DBM, decibels measured, you are dealing with an absolute power measurement. Decibels measured is relative to one milliwatt. A decibel is one tenth of a bell. So you could just as easily express that as a bell being 10 decibels. The radios used in Wi-Fi are able to both detect and process very weak signals. And when dealing with these weak signals, it is easier to refer to the received signal strength indicator values in dbm rather than in milliwatts. The transmitted signal loses strength as it propagates away from the transmitter. You could be transmitting at 100 milliwatts from an antenna, but due to the distance, noise, and the sensitivity of the receiving device, you will never receive at that signal wirelessly. Remember, the signal gets weaker exponentially as it propagates away from the transmitter. That 100 milliwatt signal will be received as a strength so weak by comparison that it has a negative decibels measured value, such as negative 80 dBm, the strength needed for basic connectivity. Within Wi-Fi, a relative measurement represents a change in power as an RF signal moves from one point to another point in space. The decibel is a comparative measurement value. It is a measurement of the difference between two power levels. For example, it is common to say that a certain power level is stronger or weaker than another when comparing RSSI values of neighboring access points. If you said a signal was 3 dB stronger than another, that would mean that signal is roughly twice as strong. This statement may be true, but does not tell us how strong either signal is an absolute measure. It's only a relative measure. You are simply comparing them to each other, like saying one melon is twice the size of another without actually saying anything about their actual sizes. As you learned earlier, a decibel is one-tenth of a bell. We use this measure in Wi-Fi for comparison of signal strengths, not absolute measure. DBI is a logarithmic measure of change in power referenced against an isotropic radiator. An isotropic radiator is spherically perfect in its radiation pattern, such as the energy emitted by the sun. Antenna gain is usually measured in DBI. Another measure you may see used in antenna description is DBD. This is a decibel measured against or relative to a half wave dipole antenna. A dipole antenna is the proper name for what most people call an omnidirectional antenna. 
More often than not, you will see DBI used for antenna power. Either way, the rating of the antenna tells you how much change there will be in either the transmitted or received signal power or the difference in what you're going to see when you're measuring. Both measures are relative and neither are absolute. For example, if you're using a transmit power of 50 milliwatts and you are using a 3 dBi or DBD gain antenna, you are doubling the power of the signal you are putting into the air. Conversely, if you are using an RF cable connected to a radio and to the antenna, the cable can introduce signal loss and the cables are normally rated based upon the DBM or DBI loss in the cabling. Absolute power measurement represents the transmit amplitude of a signal or the received amplitude of an RF signal. This chart shows us a comparison of decibels measured to milliwatts. You can clearly see now why the use of DBM makes so much sense in Wi-Fi versus using the actual milliwatt values when discussing signal strength. Within the actual math used in calculating signal strength, we use logarithms as an industry to determine true values. Logarithms make it easier to quantify large changes in values instead of dealing with a decimal and lots of zeros. DBM, decibels measured, is an example of a logarithmic measure of power units. Music